Hi there guys, Andy Hardy here. So today's question is, what kind of a lint brush works best? Holy f I'm not wearing a watch. So back to the video. Which lint brush works best? Well, there's a lot of opinion about this and we're gonna dive right in right after this. So don't go anywhere. Which lint brush works best? You have your average Walmart sticky lint brush, which seems to do okay, but mm, for the most part, it seems to be too expensive for what you're getting out of it. And then we have your traditional lint brush, which looks like this has got kind of a piece of velvety felt on the back with a pattern in it. This one seems to be the better value, uh, but sometimes it doesn't seem to perform that well, and over time the fibers break down and it kind of gives out. So this is a simple question, but it has a very complicated answer. And the first question to answer the question is, what are you gonna do with this lint brush? What kind of clothing are you using it on? They're nickel and dime clothing that people replace every year, and this is fine to use on them, but if you've got a nicer suit, I wouldn't recommend using one of these for a few reasons. One is, wool is expensive. And every time you use one of these on a wool suit, you're actually pulling fibers out of the wool. You're weakening the suit. And the other thing you're doing is a lot of these things, these are not highly engineered. They're made, they produce billions of them at a time. And a lot of times you can get one that's got a little too much adhesive on it and that adhesive will come off and ruin your garment. In my opinion, the best lint brush is your traditional felt lint brush that we've seen for years and years but it really all comes down to what you're going to use it for so if you have a blouse you wear regularly but you're probably going to replace before the year is out or next year sometime feel free to use this you're not going to ruin it but if you happen to have a $4,500 mohair overcoat please please don't use one of these on so um this is for suits for expensive clothing this is for the crap you don't care about. Hopefully that helped you. I'm uh, just trying to keep it simple here. And it's been another, well, the only, the first top tips from a tailor. 